morning folks um, welcome back to Budgie's Bus this one for me today is uh, basically a cautionary tale to those of you whose motorhome extends more than a metre from the rear axle or those of us with a tag axle who is well, the, I say well over a metre beyond the second axle um, I've caused quite a bit of damage to my bumper uh, yesterday it was in a Tesco's forecourt I pulled in to get some fuel to travel home and as I drove in you go down what looked quite a gentle ramp where it meets the forecourt so it's a bit similar to that sort of shape I came down the ramp as my rear wheels got level I heard a mighty scraping noise I wasn't sure if it was a roof or what so I stopped the vehicle got out checked around and found that my bumper was literally into the slope into the concrete of the slope um, a, a member of staff was walking by and I called her over and showed her and she said oh yes you, you have to be careful about that it's happened before there is no warning as you enter the forecourt that you have a chance of bottoming your motorhome or long vehicle out I said well can I speak to a manager and uh, she said well the manager I can tell you now won't come out he's too busy and this is something that you should have been aware of as you drove down the ramp okay how many of us think that the ramp is going to be that steep that your vehicle's going to bottom out so I'll show you the damage um, now um, with, with any luck I'll be able to repair it myself otherwise it could end up being an expensive job so I'll show you the damage now and Share the picture of the the, the Tesco's forecourt. It was on the Aberystwyth Road um, in Cardigan. Uh, so I'll show you the photo and I'll let you see the damage that was caused. I had no choice whatsoever but to carry on forward because going back would have just pulled the bumper totally underneath. But if you look at the damage, the damage is in the centre of the bumper. So it's obvious the two ends didn't hit the ground. You could see when I looked, it was just the middle bit. So not only did the ramp go this way, it wasn't level across the ramp either. There was a raised bit as you come to the pumps. So whoever did the job wasn't very skilled concrete layer or whatever you call them um, so yeah I'll show you the damage now and then I'll get this video up and running I know I've waffled on a bit but it is a cautionary tale please 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 watch what you do when you go into some of these forecourts with ramps you you are not aware that they're going to be that steep or unlevel that you're going to bottom out so thanks for watching, I hope this video has saved somebody else the problem that we've got. So catch you in the next video, bye for now. There you go, as you can see, it's poured out all the way along. All the damage really is pulled out from the centre. 